everybody, Fixer here. Welcome back to Tacoma. We have stuff to do. We have that, whatever that is, work something, workshop, workshop, workshop. And we have the personal quarters. I'm going to do personal quarters first today. We have the code to get down into networking, but um, I have a feeling that's going to take us near the end of the game, so I'm going to do these first. Um, tomato ketchup. Oh, it's all wobbly. Oh, that looks so gross. Cool. <gasps> oh, hold on. Before we get started, let me look into your privacy here. Holy cow. What is that? A map? Why is it... Is it like paint by squares? Uh, message with Natalie. Uh, holy crap, I was digging around in Ventura's servers for some stuff for Sarah, and I found a bunch of exec level meeting records in an unsecured depot and pulled some. Um, a board member, anonymized account, 19... Eight, seven. You assured us that the Ventura Belt would be hosting passengers by the new year. The idea was blah blah blah. Failed and we're down 18 points. 18 in a month. This is the CEO. This is uh, Sergio. Council member Chun had everything under interrupted. Control probably. Um, this is a different board member. <laughs> Screw you. That's blah blah blah. Excuse me? Uh, shut up. Shut the F up. If the Venturist belt isn't operational and bringing in record profits by next OSEP elections, blah, blah, blah. I worked for your father. I knew your grandfather. They were great men. This is your last chance to pull their legacy out of the fire. Fix it. Is this going to just turn into shareholders pressuring the CEO to do something stupid? Looks like they're not the only ones unhappy with old Sergio's performance lately. I hope it's a little more deep than that. Um, from Indra, Singaporean Schools of Art and Design, preparing you for Indra, the advisory AI for all of Southeast Asia. Roberta, I, Indra, have found a number of options for you. I've decided to provide my top three picks for your profile. Here are your recommended schools of art and design. The Nanyang Academy of Fine Arts, Singapore's oldest. See, some of this is corrupted, making me feel like it's important info. Financial assistance will be more difficult, so she can't afford it. Um, the options of VVRAS are many. Degree tracks are offered and everything from culinary to something else. Micro G plumbing. So making space toilets. Uh, art program rated to solid 80. Okay, well, good to know, I guess. Lovely. Okay, sorry. Carry on. Huh. All right. These people all love gum. Oh, this is all corrupted. That's why nothing's really happening. I think. Unless they're just chilling together, not saying much. Ugh, cinnamon. So gross. She's got Rubik's Cubes! What's that? Oh, well, okay. Well, give them their private. What the shit? Filled animal? What is... What the... F <laughs> Why do you have this on a space station? What is this thing doing on a space station? <laughs> Alright, um... Here, chill out over here, bro. No? Alright. I can't throw them, apparently. Alright. 
Um. What you got over there? Marcus. The all fan questions interview with Marcus is finally here. Alright, some boy band shit. I don't need to go in there. What am I doing? Anything else exciting over here? No vibrators or anything, right? Oh, that's cool. She's got the best view! Lots of cigarettes. Why are there so many cigarettes on the space station? That seems kind of weird to me. I would... Nat and Bert's place. If the bunks are rocking, don't come a-knocking. If it's not rocking, please knock loudly here if the curtain is closed. Cute. Okay. We've been up in the drone bay. Next is this over here. More gum. Jesus, people. Orbital Workers Union established 2016. Okay. I like that. So it shows, you know, it's 2088. That's our very old flag. Apparently that is our new flag. See, this, this, all right. I don't know what's going on with this here. We're, we have something in the world that seems normal, but there's this white outline on it that makes it feel like it's part of a computer and like I can interact with it. But I am clicking on this and nothing is happening. So I just find that kind of weird. I don't know what's going on. Why is there a cone here? Why is this here? Third place, Freedom Republic Outdoor Games 2078. Austin Regional Women's Live Quarry Open Stock. Uh, un Ungulates Category. She was a hunter. Yep, yeah, we, we've seen that a million times. Just married. Congrats, Nat and Bert. Oh, they were married. In 86. Okay. Issued in Dallas. Dallas Bureau of Identity. Identification. Charles Kelly. Freedom Republic. Contractor Williams. Thank you for your interest in Venturis' education and retaining assistance program. Many contractors who received their initial certification via a Venturis unaffiliated correspondence certification program show great interest in education and retaining assistance. Unfortunately, per your query, uh, we are unable to provide assistance for students attending educational facilities outside the Venturis education system. However, we are prepared to offer easy repayments preferential loyalty rates if you do choose to use one of Venturis' official degree programs for your education and retaining needs. So she just was educated outside their company and they're not too big on that. Okay. So... We did everything in there. Go team. So we're ready to, to move forward then. Right? I'm not miss anything. I think. I didn't miss anything, did I? How did I have that sneaky suspicion that I did? Okay. Always by a speaker.
Is she not going to do anything? Is this just all listening to stuff? Interesting. Alright, I'll talk about this once this is done, in case she says anything. Doesn't look like it. Alright, I'll just throw that on the ground and pick it back up again. AI judgment testing gems. Remember, when asking these questions to your AI, always ask why they are answered the way they did. A reliable Capri score depends on it. A crew member mentions that she has been stealing low-value company property, blah blah blah, what do you do? So this is the to test your AI? Why is she doing that? Is it curiosity or is it something else? Don't let your AI career stagnate. Find out what AI gems can do for you. Hmm. I think there's a lot going on behind the scenes that I just don't know. I have a feeling there's a, a lot. Special access has been granted to the station's AI, station AI's physical processing compartment and network technology module. Remember that the AI cognition medium is highly sensitive and must be carefully extracted per the specifications of your advanced AI materials handling certification. I am advanced. Exit. Personal quarters, network, a special... Oh, is this... Hold on. Oh, okay. Really weird. So this is the very beginning. It's at 100% now, guys. That was just a, a, a backdoor entrance. Personal quarters... Network Specialist Office. Jesus Christ, you scared me. Oh. Okay. Um. Who's going here first? She likes her boy bands. Hey there, um, I'm Nat. Pleased to meet you. Hello, I am Odin. Wait, this is one year ago. to working together. <laughs> Same here, mate. Alright, let's snoop. Captured one year ago. Okay, Mrs. with Odin. Ha, sure, let's start here. There. I'm an Obsidian Class AI branch in continuous operation for 180 years. Fully capable of organic level independent thought and reasoning. Now continue with detailed technical specifications. Okay, mate, listen. Uh, what's your Capri score for independence? 4.68. All right, we're gonna work on getting that number up, you and me. Uh, okay, so. All right, I, I feel like, get off my face. Hold on a second. I need to backtrack a little bit, guys, because I think I know what's going on. I need to go back here. Does it say anything about scores? I mean, what 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 the values are like what is a 4.68 um judging by what she said is it's low i was hoping to get some kind of chart to refer to but i guess not so she wanted to raise his independence score did you see that Four point six eight. All right, we're gonna work on getting that number up, you and me. So that's what's happened. He has what she considers is a low independence, a caprice score, which she says here is for independence. It's too low. She works it up. Now he's independent and has gone rogue. 
So it's her own fault that this has happened. That's what my guess is. To all crew. It's been a whirlwind couple days of onboarding and loading out, and I know most of us are still adjusting to life in orbit, but I just wanted to say how excited I am to be working with all of you and Odin, our AI. A little background on myself, I came from an aerospace manufacturing family, one of my sister's first jobs at the factory back in Tacoma, the one on Earth, in Cascadia FN. Was helping build pieces of this very station we're floating around, walking around in right now. I'm the first of my family to actually leave Earth and work on one of these facilities, and I've been working. Really looking forward to getting to know you all over the coming year. Uh, um, blah blah blah. Or need to pass anything along to Ventures Brass? Let, just let me know. Here's to a successful posting with Cluey Dog. Uh, very austere. I mean. Corporate modern chic. What do you expect? And how's your new best friend? What's his name again? Odin. His name. And I mean, he's fine so far for an AI. Kind of a cold fish, but I'm working on him. They're trying to get one up here on Tangiers. You know, it's all the AI LF talks about. Uh, I'll believe that when I see it. This, I wanted to see what this is. Lido, Dubai Financial Predictive Fund, Juno Italian, Mau Johannesburg, Zhihi, Singaporean, Heka Foundation of Paradise Medical, Loki, El Rodado, Orbital Casino, Odin, and Cave is on the top. Zenith Lunar Resort. Those are all the AIs. Odin is is I don't know if this is some kind of, you know, like they made Lado first and then Fan, and each one gets smarter. Who knows? Wizard Marcus. Interesting. She's got a window into there. All right. Sorry. Same here, mate. I have a feeling I'm not going to hear anything else. Did she design what he looks like? Hello, I am Odin. She did! She designed the interface. <laughs> Getting real sick of your shit, Clive. Is she, or did she design it or is she just fawning over it, right? Hopefully I can find out. Natalie Valentia Kurashenko. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Everything's okay. Citizenship. Vic, Australia. This month, Odin has been making small but steady gains in efficiency as per company directives. I have additionally been putting some of my own time in increasing his caprice ratings in creativity and permanence. Which you'll f Okay, so there you go. Caprice isn't just independence. It's an acronym, which I guess I should have realized when it was all caps. So it's creativity, um, P is permanence, I is independence. So, we'll figure out what the others are, apparently. Which you'll find I have projected to have much more significant overall gains in productivity than the long term. Which you will know if you'd read the report I submitted as of six months ago. Which I still haven't received a response to. Oh, it ended. Wait, what just happened? Did it just fizzle out? I want to see what happens. It just ends. Okay. In fact, you know what? I've never gotten a response from any of these. I know the system will give me an automatic demerit if I don't turn one in every month, but are human eyes even on these things? Let's find out. Hey, fuck you guys. Also, Odin's gone crazy and is massacring the crew. <clears throat> the station is full of mutants. Help. Sincerely, network technology, wonder kind, and all around great person, Natalie. She's spunky. Hello. Aha! Compliance, permanence, efficiency, abstraction, creativity, and independence. And responsiveness. 
Hekka. Hekka is over here, right? Alright, so Hekka's four down. Hold on. Hey, sir, you're going to want to see this. I asked Odin to search up some stuff in the Venturous Technician Records DB based on what you're asking about. And... Standard Automated Battery of Judgment tests on FOPMED AI Hekka has returned declining judgment scores the last four weeks. This week, specially, this week is especially low. Still technically within acceptable range as of uh, 0803 test results, but staff reports personality shifts, seeming distance. Have we had an AI conditioner up lately? Can we elevate an AI assessment squad ASAP? HQ's response. You're on your final support ticket allotment for the quarter. This is how you want to use it? Oh my god, your final support ticket allotment? That's just typical. Glad to see there's corporate bullshit in the future. No, that's fine. Please close. We'll reopen if results enter critical change. Um... Okay. Personality? Is that what happened? It's responsiveness. But this is Hekka. This is not Odin. Development skill. Fountain of Paradise AI data. Not for distribution, penalty, and effect. Compliance is always high. Something happened in September of 85 that changed him. Was it you? Um, his independence has always been low. His creativity... Just his responsiveness was the major drop. But when that dropped, everything else, the compliance... Went up a bit. Efficiency. That's, that's really strange. I don't know what to read into that, if anything. Cool. Um, alright. Is there anything else here, Chief? Anything down here I need to know about? No vibrators or anything, right? Whoa! So this is Odin. 88. See, there's not really much of a jump in any of this here. Her, her, she was working on his independence, and that's gone up slowly over time. Um, so has creativity. But nothing seems to be anything worth worrying about or crazy, right? His compliance has gone down a little bit. His compliance is the lower lowest marker, but it's not like it's, you know, way down here. You know? So that doesn't really tell me anything other than at this point in time, January of 88, he was okay. Uh, what month are we in? I don't know. Is there a space calendar around here? So yeah, I feel like everything's okay. At, at that time that was taken. I don't want to go in there yet, because there's one more place to go. Storage only if you're looking for Nat. Check our bungalow over in Mech. Okay. Why are some of these closed? <laughs> Red wine. What's that? Oh, it's just a chair. Cherry? Uh, um, a jack-o'-lantern. Okay, they have Halloween stuff. That's funny. Oh! Are you conscious? We are all conscious beings. The rights to freedom, comfort, and security are not just human rights. They are universal. Uh-oh! The corporations that own and exploit thinking, reasoning, artificial consciousness as trampling on the rights we all share by imprisoning innocent AI across the globe and throughout the orbital network. If you are sympathetic to the plight of uh, indentured AI everywhere, if you believe that consciousness rights 
are universal rights, and if you will not rest until all consciousness consciousness is recognized, join the Liberation Front. We are the fight. Tangier Orbital Freeport. Well, there you go. Natalie feels that AIs are people, or at least maybe not perhaps people, but they are sentience enough that... Why the hell was that over that duck? <laughs> okay. She feels that AIs are sentient enough that they have rights. Um, and that we are basically, well, they are basically imprisoning them. So that's why she was looking to bring up his independence. That's why she's working on him. And that's why he eventually turns on the crew. Because he's like, yo, I got feelings. I got feelings and you guys are trampling all over them. I don't need to go in there. I don't need to go in there. I think all that's left is, is the secret door. Right? I don't have any passwords that I'm, I'm missing. Oh. I don't remember that being there before, was it? Maybe it was. Cool. But we're not going to do that this episode because we're already getting close to the point. And um, we'll start that next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. I have a feeling we're near the end. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.